This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Front wing. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we're back, everybody, for more Fruit of Grisea. The game that is by far the most uncomfortable game for me to stream ever. But the, honestly, this game, it's like a train wreck. It's so horrible and so uncomfortable, and you want nothing more than to just look away and never return. But doggone it, I just can't. I can't look away from the horrors. <laughs> Maybe that maybe Michiru's route will be different than Sachi's route. Hopefully, more action and f hilarity and less uh, sexy times. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Yeah, I've changed the menu screen's voice to Michiru's in honor of her route. Michiru grew on me. She started out as. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Marty's here. Hi, Marty. Waited. <laughs> Glad you're here to join in the pain. <laughs> so, yeah, we cleared Sachi's route last time. There were some high highs and some very low lows, and I'm guessing Michiru's route is going to be like that. So one thing I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back and try some of the other choices for the prologue. I don't think this will actually affect anything, but it'll be interesting. All right. I also have to remember things. So this is Sachi's in the street, and she looks like she's... <laughs> she was carrying a bunch of stuff, and we're like, oh, we should probably help her, but we're not going to this time. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this game, Marty. I love the music, like the art style. I like parts of the story. Parts of the story and character development are actually really cool, but then it's just so uncomfortable at times. <laughs> Can we have fewer scenes of girls scrubbing the back of our shirt with their obobs? Thank you very much. I don't want that. All right, this time we're just going to wait and see what happens. <laughs> I'll wait and see what happens for now. Might seem a little heartless, but the entire purpose of this outing was to tail Saji. Oh yeah, we're with Yumiko, spying on Saji in the city. If I just pop out now, she'll probably ask me what I'm doing here, and I don't have a good answer. Therefore, it's standby for the moment. <laughs> Oh, and businesswoman best girl is helping out. As I'm thinking over the matter, Sachi deftly gathers up her scattered groceries. In no time at all, she's begun walking again. She's not using the shortest route back to the dorm. Must still have a stop on the itinerary. <laughs> High dusk. Yeah, this is, this is a this is quite a game, huh? <laughs> I'm hoping this stream will be less uncomfortable than the usual Grisea streams, though. Also, we have sound effects that people can play now, so that'll make it more interesting. After entering a dead-end alley off the main road, Sachi suddenly squats down onto the ground. Wait, is she not feeling well? Considering that sloppy mistake with the bags earlier, it seems plausible. I don't think I can justify keeping up my covert surveillance any longer. I emerge from cover and run to Sachi's side. There's a strange, inhuman cry from their general vicinity. This might be an even more serious situation than I thought. Hey, Sachi, are you alright? Well, we've seen this before. It's the kitten. Sachi turns back to face me. She's holding a small cat against her chest. What, a cat? Oh, that's right. Everyone's super weird in this game. I'm relieved to hear that, but I was actually talking about the creature you're holding. Thanks for clearing that up. I especially appreciated how you worded your response like a tourist forming sentences out of a pocket dictionary. <laughs> well, it's quite clear that Sachi is the same as always. I think Yuji is very knowledgeable in a lot of subjects, but he has no social skills or common sense. So you came here to look after that animal, I assume. Hi, Proxima. Welcome to a deeply uncomfortable game. But <laughs> hopefully it won't be uncomfortable. <laughs> but uh, this is definitely more adult than Clannad is. There don't seem to be any visible problems with its health, but can't hurt to take a quick look. Oh, skip! Okay. Oh, that's it. That was a very tiny decision. I... Whoa, no, 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 no,
<laughs> I got Mitra to talk to herself. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was the first choice. Oh, I guess second choice is relating to the nickname that they want to give us. Uh, I actually don't even remember what I said last time. I think I said Juicy Yuji. Let's be Mr. Standoffish Man. Alright, out of those, I'd say, call me Mr. Standoffish Man. It's a terrible nickname, but also... Oh, that's right, she's in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they even changed her name. To be honest, I think I'd rather be addressed as a number. Okay, I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually change anything. I think it literally just changes the name and that's it. And then I think there's only one other choice in the prologue. Oh, that's right! <laughs> uh, <laughs> box Nurse, or Box Nurse, Box Maid is here. Uh, last time we helped Sachi, now we're gonna offer encouragement and go to the roof. <laughs> I know you're used to this sort of job, but the more confident you are, the more likely careless accidents become. Try to stay on your toes, alright? <laughs> I like Mitra's voice actress as well. She does a perfect job voicing her. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think that's called for right now. With this exchange of pleasantries completed, Sachi wanders off toward the stairs, still puzzling over my words. Is she doing this on purpose? Are you doing that on purpose? Looking back at all my conversations with the girl to date, it's hard to believe anyone could be such a perfect airhead. Either way, I suppose almost every organization has its loafers and its diligent sorts. And it's natural to rely on the hard work of the latter group. But I think the dichotomy at the school might be a little too stark. Feels like we're completely dependent on Sachi's efforts. Might be something worth thinking about. It's true. Oh, Principal! It's been a, it's been a while. Sorry, but I don't think I'm up for listening to you complain about your life right now. Please try someone else. You can't talk to the Principal like that! <laughs> oh, so in that case, you want me to help trim the bonsai tree you've started to raise in a futile attempt to relieve the crushing boredom of your existence. You can't talk to an authority figure like that! What the heck? <laughs> You find this exhausting? Personally, my heart throbs with refreshing joy every time I see your face, Chizuru. Hmm. You, oh, you, you can't just get out of it like that. Actually, he can, because he's visual novel protagonist. Instead of responding, she heaves a heavy sigh. A weary sigh. So, did you need something? Normally I'd agree, Marty, except you know they would have made Principal a romance route. And Yuji's a high school student, and she is, I think, in her, her late 20s, so that would be kind of icky. What? The suppliers don't bother to bring them in? <laughs> Fair enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so for this decision, it's like, do you want to help Sachi carry these heavy boxes? It's like, no. It's like, okay, then you're going to help Principal carry heavy boxes. <laughs> So there's a fee for bringing deliveries inside the building now? The world's becoming a cruel place these days. <laughs> How coy. Well, this school has a severe lack of males to help out with this sort of thing. Yeah, we need more guys in school. If I refuse, Sachi or one of the others will probably end up getting pressed into service in my place. Volunteering is the more attractive option. Got it. I'll give you a hand. Nah, I'm just in the mood to earn myself one of those nice pastries that a certain someone is always stocking up using <laughs> for using misappropriated school funds. <laughs> Mr. Stewart. I wish he were in this game. It would make the game so much more interesting. I was born this way. I was born this way, I'm afraid. Try not to let it get to you. 
From the moment I coldly rejected Amine's goodwill and fled the classroom, it seems I was ill-fated to carry things around one way or another. Oh yeah, didn't we just leave the classroom because we didn't want to carry Amine's stuff as well? Man, why does everybody need heavy stuff carried? All right, <laughs> that's it for the prologue choices. So now we're going back to the choice to go on Sachi's route, and we're going to decline this time. <laughs> we lost the game to Sachi. Instead of praising her, we're going to ask for an alternate penalty, probably involving something bad. Personally, I prefer a different penalty, if that's all right with you. Oh no, do we have to do the word game again? An interesting choice. Can't say I was expecting a second round, but... If you're that caught up on the game, Sachi, I don't mind giving you another match when we have the time. Who is this Mizuki-sensei? Is this from an anime show that I have not seen? You're seriously fired up. Fundamentally, Sachi seems the same airheaded girl as always, but judging from this highly out of character assertiveness, she must have gotten quite fond of Makina's strange game. Uh oh. Run. Run! <laughs> okay, never mind. Change of plans. Are they wearing rubber boots? What kind of shoes make that sound? It's not even raining outside. Oh, hi. Hi, Grandma! <laughs> Makina returns from the second floor only a few minutes after she left, this time with Amine in tow. What's this? Makina, please tell me you're not thinking of adding Amine into the game for a four-way battle royale. That's were chocolate-covered raisins on sale? An errand? Oh, that's nice. Not that you inviting us to eat is particularly rare, but what's with the formal invitation? Some special occasion? Creepiest teacher is from Cardcaptor Sakura. She stalks her students as a creepier voice, traps her students in a maze, and does nothing to help them. <laughs> she sounds pretty bad. <laughs> not sure if... I'm not sure if that's the worst... Oh, okay, well... <laughs> I was about to be like, that sounds weird, but I don't know if that's the, the worst fan. Oh, well, if she's dating an elementary schooler, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, I have to look in my inside myself, eh? Alright, I like introspection. Hmm. Just as instructed, I put my hand on my chest and search for the answer in my heart. Does lub dub lub dub have anything to do with it? Because that's all I'm getting. <sighs> Kindly stop heaving sighs in my direction. As I've told you before, I'm a surprisingly naive soul. Please spell out the situation for me. Uh, that happened months ago, so hang on. Rats. Can't go back far enough. Ah, so we're talking about the tacos here. Whoops, it's been too long since I played. I don't remember this scene. <laughs> oh, dang! It's taco night! Oh! This is gonna be great. Hold the beans for me, please. Now I see. It's an idea very typical of our frugal minded Amine. Do me a favor and don't say stuff like that with a blush on your face. It's seriously bad for the heart. Yuck. Also, I've already finished with the prep for my own meal, so... <laughs> We're making stew! Gah. 
impressive resilience. But I suppose that's only to be expected of a veteran resident of this school. <laughs> also, Artie Water ASMR has returned. Tell me something, in Kyoto, do all the girls cackle like murder- Amine closes the matter with a wink that reads, I am a harmless little girl. It's distinctly unconvincing. Also, nauseating. <laughs> That's right, I forgot that Yuji is simultaneously the best and worst protagonist ever. I swear, this woman. <laughs> What? Are we in grade school now? Want us to go run around the playground until it gets dark? Oh, that has more meaning now that we've completed Sachi's route. For some reason, Makina mimes the motion of flipping cards off a deck. Since when did that game involve cards? And so, I was once again dragged back into the soul-crushing game in question, mumbling complaints all the while. No, as a matter of fact, I don't want to be- Wow, the famous bots are back. Poor you, I have Twitch open on my phone, so I can ban you easily. Hey, <laughs> ban. Anyhow, where were we? And so I was once again dragged back into the soul-crushing game in question, mumbling complaints all the while. Mm oh, we didn't even get to have dinner with them. How boring. Hello. Oh, hey, Michiru! Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Yumiko! <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen your smiling face. Answering Michiru's greeting, the then winking in response to Sakaki's silent glance, I make my way to my seat. A perfectly normal morning, so far. Sup? At least until Amine and an oversized puppy arrive on the scene. That's an insult to puppies. Apparently this school is truly tolerant in regard to pets on campus. Perhaps too much so. Maybe it's a marketing strategy to differentiate them from the crowd. Like those animals okay cafes? What are you doing? Just for your information, ending your sentences with weird little barks make you sound like you're a complete mental case. I'm pretty sure everybody here is a complete mental case in some way. Except Principal. So, she was aware? By the way, young pup, are you done with extreme typos already? That's not the sound a dog makes, by the way. Amine's words of explanation seem to carry a tinge of exhaustion. Oh no. Seems one person hasn't gotten with the times quite yet. Just as Amine says, our extreme typos marathon continued well after we'd finished our group dinner. Oh. Once Makina started complaining about being tired, everyone wandered back to their rooms without any firm conclusion to the game. That is not the sound a dog makes. <laughs> and Yumiko is just laughing, because there's no other choice. <laughs> Calm yourself, Michiru-sama. <laughs> oh, I've actually missed that Michiru face. It's hilarious. Also, I can't believe that Sachi actually wasn't a robot. I was actually quite surprised. Oh, that was a really short scene. Wow. Back when the village well was still an essential aspect of daily life, the world was a happier place. By avoiding the well, it was possible to avoid women's idle gossip to some degree. 
In modern times, the whole world is a minefield. You never know when you're going to trigger a verbal explosion. Sweets are especially troublesome. Despite their small size, they're extremely effective at inspiring females to chatter on at length. Their destructive efficiency re resembles that of a hollow point bullet. Well, I'm the only guy here, so it's not much saying much. Our program of academic activities is over for the day. I'm just taking a short breather when Amine calls for my attention. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Can it wait? I'm not attempting to shoot you down, and I'm not trying to be blunt either. I'm just informing you that I don't currently have time to put up with light lengthy, pointless chattering you people seem to love so much. <laughs> they were just seeing you've got a friend in me. I'm sure I've already explained that my knowledge on this particular topic is fairly shallow, but apparently they haven't quite, quite gotten the message yet. Sorry, but I'm not going to be of much use. I've never even done the typical marathon bloody-knuckled fighting by the bank of the river until both sides collapse and become fast friends, Fane. <laughs> he was raised on violent TV shows, so his, his perspective of reality is a bit warped. That a fact. Happens all the time in books, though. I was convinced it must be a commonplace daily event. <laughs> it's a guy fane. Oh, sorry, sorry, madam. What's the context? That's a very polite way of just shutting down the conversation. That's a less polite way of bringing it back up. <laughs> well, let's change that! Yumiko, wanna be friends? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> Why are you talking like that? You know, I was too. あ、ポーサージ。あ、ワイズポリシー。テイクエニフィンマーカナセスウィズモルティプルグレインズオブソルトイフユーリスンアトオル。適当じゃねえのよ。どっかで聞いたのよさ。どこで聞いたんだろう
男女の友情って成立すると思うほら男女で親友同士みたいな感じ That I don't think is really that possible. Certainly not to the same extent that guys can be best friends of other guys or girls can be best friends of other girls. I don't think that really happens. At least it can happen. Maybe it can happen for a while, but like once puberty hits, things generally get weird. Just saying. こういう話題って男か女かでも考え方が違うからねどう思ってるか気になるわよねうんそうだねおにチルチルどうしたんうんなんでもないよちょっとごめんねチル様大丈夫でしょうかずいぶんと具合が悪そうでしたがうーん確かにね私気に触るようなこと言ったかな Interesting Hey Nick I didn't say I was not coming back to that game I said I was taking a break and I also said I was almost certainly not doing the Machina or Amine route I, I made it pretty clear that I was planning on coming back for the Michiru route Anyhow, welcome This stream has not been very uncomfortable thus far which is great もしかしたら私が味に執着するあまりご機嫌を損ねてしまったのかもしれません。That's probably it, Sachi。どっちでもないんじゃねえのきっとお腹痛いのよさ。What? A colitis this time? Of course there's a fever we can't rule out malaria. I ever... Mm. Alright, I suppose I'll have to take appropriate measures. You can do it as a result. Yeah, okay then. I'll be going now. I decide to poke my nose into Michiru's business, less out of genuine concern for her health than the desire to escape a tedious conversation. Ooh, the slick music. But after searching the entire dormitory from top to bottom, she's nowhere to be found. Locked in the laboratory, perhaps. Oh, sorry. I was wearing my steel-toed combat boots. Uh, have you seen Michiru? Say what? I see. Thank you for the heads up. Why would she head outside when she's clearly feeling poorly? Or was that just some sort of an act? Michiru, what do you think you're doing? You need to take it easy if you don't want those clothes to end up irredeemably soiled. Hmm? Is your chest hurting? It looks like you're in pain. Oh, she actually isn't feeling well. Mitra's face contorts in evident agony. Beads of greasy sweat have formed on her forehead. It looks like a considerably more serious attack than the one I witnessed a few weeks ago. What's wrong? Look, I know you're devoted to your craft, but no one's going to revoke your membership in the Sundere Club if you ask for help when you're sick. Hmm. You look terrible, though. I generally am too, Nick, because I usually hate the Sundares. She's a very interesting character, though. And I'm, I'm kind of curious what her backstory is. Also, she's probably the funniest and most normal character in the whole game, which is really saying something. I can't do that. I'd be unable to assist if this attack、uh, suddenly developed into a medical emergency. I'm not willing to take that risk. As good as her word, Michiru stalks sluggishly off the school grounds, dragging her shadow behind her like a ball and chain tied to her feet. Seems she found my intervention seriously unpleasant. I quietly watch her go. Yeah, I don't think there's a problem. Also, Amine, that is not how belts work. What? 
それでどうしたのもごもごしながらこれ何って言うからウルテって返事しておいたのよさ You're terrible ウルテホルモン焼きにある牛の帰還のことですねまたマニアックな食材よそしたらみちるなんだってうまいねって言ってそのままどっか行ったうん、the girls taste buds may have been permanently fried from drinking nothing but sour stuff all the time wait But don't they cut those distinctive little notches into the tracheal tube when making your ute? From the shape alone, she should have been able to determine it was an eraser. Some of us don't know what that even was until Sachi explained it. <laughs> These people are insane! In that case, I guess it's not surprising she'd make the mistake. You're admirably meticulous about the details. <laughs> How about just not feeding people erasers? Please don't tell me it was a pulverized eraser. So she's having intense stomach cramps because she ate two erasers. <laughs> oh, good. I think we might need to up the effectiveness of these scoldings. Hmm, can't say I know. She wandered off somewhere by herself. Whatever, I'm sure erasers aren't poisonous. Amine's reaction to my words is distinctly overblown. Fiends seem to be moving in a troublesome direction all of a sudden. You did indeed, and I assured you that she was. My grounds for that judgment were very simple. Michiru herself said as much. Can't deny it was a little pale. Personally, I... I don't think she appeared particularly healthy in general, but the girl herself said, Um, I'm sorry, was it me or Makina who fed her two erasers? What sort of responsibility did you have in mind? ポケイスまで送り届けるとかあるでしょ男だったらそうしなさいねえさっちゃんユージは女の子に見えるなんでしょいいえ女性には見えないですね性別を問われたら男性だと答えますなんでしょほらねユージ行ってきなさいかんせ